And snow emergencies are still happening in Minneapolis and St. Paul tonight. A new number show more than 1,600 tickets issued so far and more than 400 vehicles towed across the Twin Cities. People who left their cars parked on the street had a big job to do before going to their jobs. Caroline Cummings is in St. Paul to show us it's not all work. There's some play, too. The work of cleaning up after the storm may be just beginning, plowing the streets, clearing walkways to homes, but that didn't stop people we found in St. Paul from taking advantage of the fun side of a snowstorm. This afternoon, we found kids having a blast, sledding down steep hills. The snow is the perfect condition for that. And the dogs we met at High Bridge Dog Park also seemed to love it. Four legged friends ran wild through the snow, and we found most of their owners were making the most of it. We just love this one. There's usually people here, um, kind of whatever the weather is, which is really nice. And I knew that uh, roads get a little bit better plowed here than some of the other areas, so I was like, I should be able to make it. But you know who wasn't having as much fun? These guys who had to dig their cars out of massive snow drifts. But the buddy system seemed to work best because not everyone could stay home. I actually had to go into work today, um, so that was pretty tough this morning. The roads were really crazy. It was like whiteout condition, so that wasn't fun. But um, yeah, now I just have a a lot of shoveling to do to make sure I can get to work tomorrow. <laughs> Teresa said those side roads are still tough to drive down, but hopefully they'll improve in the next few days. In St. Paul, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News.